Hello friends, welcome back to Error Solution. In this video, I will explain like a bootstrap input tags, like a tag inputs in PHP. So we need to use like input tags. What is the input tags? So what do you want to type like this? I can just show you the example like a test comma like this comma like what whatever welcome. Let's do is a proper example comma welcome one like a PHP Laravel. So this is the one type of tag because you are adding the tag like a, this is a comma after the welcome is a comma after this you can say like PHP after is a comma comma and Laravel. So this is the tags where we can use the tags. Suppose do you want to make a filter? Okay, I need to find out only Laravel post. I need to find out like only PHP post. So we can make a like a tags works. Same thing we can use inside block. Suppose you are creating new block post. So here you can see it like tags. So we can use like a tags. Suppose we are creating like YouTube. YouTube video you are uploading so always you can say text like a comma separate you can add like this so you can use it like it here is a YouTube text same thing you are doing like forum like a you forum you are uploading so question and answer is there suppose I will create a question so text also available answer you can provide so also text available it's like some project is available some project not available but I just give you three example so in this video I will cover how to use like a bootstrap input tags like a text input because this is the tutorial is good for you you can learn something new and how we can implement our plugin this reason I already started my server is like web server like you can see localhost slash youtube slash bootstrap text input I have created one folder in my server side so I can show you here you can see it here okay so this is the old one also I have created one index.php file and I have one request you are new in this channel otherwise in this series so please subscribe error solution and please press the bell icon so whatever we are video we are uploading so you always get the notification and you can learn every day new thing so it is good for you and it's good for me okay so let's start now bootstrap tax input so just you can go to Google's okay so you can see it just go to Google's and you can search this is the example for the PHP okay so how we can use like different table wise we can store and how we can do it like a comma separate wise you can store so once you can go to Google's and you can check search like a bootstrap tax input once you can press the enter so you can see it like a first links like a bootstrap tax input just you can click so here is a there is a one button like a download button you can see it my cursor once you can click on the download buttons so here is a plugin download bootstrap tax inputs once you can open the plugin so here you can see it like a our codes like a inside code code inside you can see it like src src inside went to these three files but we need only two files like first two files so we can drag and drop so let's create here is a one folder like a scripts okay whatever do you want to like you can create i will just provide like one example this reason i am just creating like a script folders inside i am drag and drop so what i did first i download like a bootstrap tag inputs like a zip files inside i go to src src inside win2 drag and drop here okay so this is the dunce now our html code means not a html php code inside win2 implement so just i can start like a html so it's very simple so here our html started here i can do it like an example bootstrap input text input whatever you want to like you can do it tax input here we can create like one form always need a one form and we can use like a method is equal to post okay and input type is equal to text sorry text so this is the done so let's and we can do it like one button button and we can do it like a type is equal to submit this is the very simple form and here I can do it like a submit let's save these files and just go back and we can refresh the page so just you can go back and refresh the page so you can see it like one form like you can add after you can submit don't worry and here our action url is the same like a actions we can put like a same okay so we don't want to do anything let's implement our plugin because we have already downloaded plugin here so simple links and here we need to provide our path so scripts so whatever your folder there like a script so scripts after we need to make a slash slash instead we need to provide like this CSS file just copy this name and you can put it it's very very simple 
but now we need another plugin for the JS like a click events like a you know about jQuery plugin so let's download jQuery plugin so please follow how we can download okay just open the new tabs and inside you can search like click event sorry click event in jQuery just you can search so whatever link available well, double three schools .com, you can go inside after you can click on the try yourself so here you can see it like this plugin so just we need to download for this plugin also so just copy and paste here this is the live plugin so what do you want to download and you can do it I will show you both of you so you can learn every day new this reasons okay so this is the live but we need to install our plugin so scripts and we can provide our name like a input text one so just copy name and I can put here I know sometimes generate the issue because you are creating fresh demo this is in your side working but our real project is not working suppose you can check my last video so I will I already implement in real projects but I thinking let's create another video for the like a demo so people can understand what is the bootstrap tag this reason I am creating video but otherwise do you want to see my live project inside a blog project so you can see it like a input text I already use about the bootstrap input text okay so this is the your reasons means your whatever do you want to do you can do it okay just I provide a like a name is equal to tags now we need to do here like a one scripting so just you can type type is a scripts and inside we need to provide our tag so how we can use let's go to back again and you can copy for this name sorry this name okay like a tags inputs just copy and paste here now you can remove this one we don't want to need any items so just leave it and here you can provide like one id like a hash tags so what do you want to provide class id whatever do you want to like you can do it i just provide like a id name is a tags id tags just save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can see it is working now i just click outsides I just click outside I just click outside so it's working very well no issue you can see it here but we need to change our color so let's make it right color uh, means right click inside you can see it like here spam and I can provide like a background red so this is the not a right way so let's go to here this is the remove one we don't want to use remove one we can use like this ones let's refresh the page so I can show you again okay I type here like PHP PHP laravel so i have created two tags here php and laravel so let's go inside and here you can see it like text text input info so just you can go to like at this file i can show you background red so you can see it otherwise do you want to make like a padding 10 px whatever do you want to like this is the your dependency border radius 5 px you can do it also you can change your colors whatever do you want to like okay I like it black so I use like black shadow so this is the text let's copy and we can go to like a bootstrap input.css38 lines so just open the plugins and here you can see it like a go 38s and here you can put it <coughs> once you can save just save these files and just go back again and after you need to refresh hard refresh so you can see it. let's make it again php laravels so you can see it so what do you want to make like this one is like a bigger so this input so just you can choose like here and here you can make like a display block so it's showing the all the biggers okay whatever do you want to like you can do it this line number is a one so let's go back again and we can do it otherwise you can think why is not going to big so just you can make it like a display block so is going to 100 percent because here is already right maximum width is 100 percent and you can type like a display block so it's going to 100 percent okay so you can see it i just type anything you can see it and inside bootstrap tag input inside lots of settings available whatever do you want to use you can do it like you can see it here so this is the your reasons you need to learn and how you can do it like a maximum item whatever do you want to do minimum item whatever do you want to do everything is available like max tag suppose I copy okay and I just go back again and I just put here I just show you one example and tags and I just put here tags okay 
and let's go back again and we can check I refresh the page let's see any error there what is the error there refresh the page so we can see it any errors why is not working okay because I not add a hash sign this results because we need to provide an ID like a hash okay I just go back again refresh the page so you can see it I just add like a three maximum is available three now I'm doing is not available you can see so is a maximum available three so whatever do you want to do you can do it maximum character what is the tag do you want to do trim value so do you want to remove the space allow duplication duplicate do you want to allow so suppose right now I just go back again and I just here type like a PHP okay so one I will do is a PHP again so it's not working because it's already there so what do you want to think do you want to allow duplication so just copy and go back again and here you can make like a comma and after you can make allow duplicates is equal to true and after you can save and just go back and refresh the page PHP I should type PHP so you can see duplicate work very well so I can type third time PHP so also can work but is a fourth time is not work because of is a maximum tag is a three so you can see it here is all the setting available for classes do you want to do source whatever do you want to do like you can learn creating your demo wise whatever do you want to do so you can use it here is the ajax wise you can find out the tags whatever do you want to use you can use it i just give you the example how you can do it inside your real project this reasons now once you can click on the submit button so we need to get the all the data inside our form to php side so what we can do we need to start our php here and let's remove the like a maximum text and like a let's remove the allow duplication leave it but maximum tag let's make like a 30 whatever do you want like i just give the example this reason i have a change okay php if is not empty dollar post okay and here i can do it like a printer dollar post it look tax okay and I can make here dice let's go back again and we can refresh the page because a dollar post means this form you are submitting so we can check here is available data not available because name is equal to tax so let's refresh the page and I can type like a PHP Laravel jQuery okay and I press the submit buttons so you can see it once the submit so is our post method work like a PHP Laravel and jQuery so this is the way of deeds when to store inside our database suppose you can store directly so also possible whatever column you can create inside database column so you can store is possible otherwise do you want to use the export function you can create a new function like a new tables not new function new tables and inside you can store it I already explained last video so do you want to follow my last video so you can understand easily okay but let's make it here how we can do it so and to do inside a search filter so search filter always need to do is a like a new tables without new tables impossible to do is possible but it's not like a good results we need a like a professional and good results about search so let's talk about like professional way we don't want to go to like a sometime people storing in one column like all the comma separate it is not good I am not always doing like this I just create a new suppose I am creating blog post so is my main table is a block second table name is a block tax so let's show you how we can do it okay so first of all this is the our tax so how we can do it I create a new variable tags and I can use like explodes determination means the win to divide using the comma so for this comma wise we are dividing dividing and here I can make it like a our string like a dollar post and I can make like print r and I die okay just make it die and I just save and just go back again and press ctrl f5 so you can see it like an array printing PSP Laravel and jQuery so our blog our saving so here is our blog ID okay just give the example is like a 10 now we need to store this text inside our tables like a block text so just you can do it like a for each and here you can make like a tags and here you can do it like a tag okay and here I can print like a text so you can see it 
means here you can print text so meaning about we need to store inside our database like a new tables echo and I can put here br okay let's go back again and we can press the control f5 so whatever info they are inside our database side so you can see it like you can see php laravel jquery so the printing one by one because of we have a looping first explode after we are printing one by one so it's working very well so here your code to store your database your database table like a blocks text like this your table there and inside you can do it like a id blog id and name and so what do you want to need created dates updated so you can leave it so this is the your blocks tags inside there so id you can auto increment blog id means this blog id and tags name means the, this is the tags so you can install inside our database means that inside data inside our database tables your database tables so this is the use for <coughs> blogs means a bootstrap input tags why we need why we can use like a different tables this is the i will clear everything in this video so what do you want to not understand anything so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and please press the bell icon so whatever we are uploading the video so you always get the notification and you can start immediately learning these reasons and thank you for watching error solution